on a 1992 Honda Accord here and we want to retrieve transmission codes and we'll also take a look at some engine codes too. So this is a self blinker um, version, in other words it blinks out its codes and you have to jump a jumper wire to do that. So we're going to show you how we get that done. The first thing you do is remove the kick panel from the passenger side of uh, the vehicle which is right underneath the glove compartment okay I'll show you that right now so there's the kick panel we took off this passenger side of the vehicle and when you remove that kick panel you'll see a blue connector and basically all you need to do is short out the connector it's a two wire connector and you just put your two probes in there and you just short them out with a jumper wire now once you get that done you come up here to your dashboard and you just turn your key on just to the battery, you don't start the car. And for transmission, you watch the D4 light. Now you'll see it's blinking. Count the blinks. That was four blinks. We'll count them again to make sure. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it looks like the transmission is storing a code four. Now, a couple things to note here. If it's storing multiple codes, they'll blink out on a sequence. For example, if it's storing a code four, then a code three after that, it'll blink four blinks, there'll be a pause, and it'll blink three, then it'll go back and do the code four again. So you want to let it blink through the series a few times to make sure it's only one code or two codes or whatever storing in the system. This one looks like it only has a code four. One other thing to note is that if one of the blinks is long, that represents a tenth. So example uh, would be if you had a long blink, one long blink and then you had four short blinks that would be a code 14 okay now for check for engine codes you just look at your check engine light and it'll do the same thing now this one doesn't look like it's storing any engine codes because it's solid but if it was blinking you would kind of count it the same way you do your d4 light for transmission codes so code 4 uh, you would need to look that up you could probably google it or go to some repair information to get that code um, i think it's a fae wire shorted uh, or open, I don't have the ticket in front of me, something to that effect, and you troubleshoot it from there. Now, to clear them, uh, it tells you to remove a fuse to do that, but basically all we do here is we just disconnect the battery and let it sit for a while, or disconnect both leads of the battery and touch the leads of the, together, of the car together, and to kind of drain down the system, or you could just disconnect the battery and step on the brake pedal and drain down the system, and then you can rescan it again. Of course, disconnect this thing when you clear the codes now. I forgot to tell you to do that. And then, you know, rescan and make sure they're gone. But that's how you get them, okay? So uh, we appreciate you watching. Thanks and subscribe.